Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my econ associates. How's everybody doing out there today? All right, guys and ladies, it's Ivy, and I'll be your presenter today, and we're just about ready to get started. All right, I'll tell you, November is on the way. It's already October 20th, 2020. 2020 is just about gone. In just about 70 days, we're going to say bye-bye to 2020. And hello, 2021. What an exciting time for us to be able to get that done. All right, I see we've got some of our My Econ Cash Flow stars hopping on out there today. We got Miss Tia Lynn Cantor from the great state of Ohio was number one today. She beat you out by just a little bit, Mr. Clyde, but we're glad to have you from down in Texas today. All right, we got Mr. Medley hopping on. Hey, we got Miss Liz and Mr. Leonard from the great state of Texas. You know who she is, my big sister and her husband, Mr. Leonard. All right, guys, we're glad to have you out there. Hey, Liz, hey, Leonard, how you guys doing today? Hey, I wish I was down there getting some of that Texas sunshine today. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, but we'll get some next year. I'll be down there. We'll be getting some of that Texas sunshine and some of your good cooking. So I'll be ready to get it done on next year. All right, we got Miss Cheryl Demps from the great state of Georgia. Hey, Cheryl, how you doing out there tonight? Hey, we got Mr. Gino from the great state of New York up in the Big Apple. Glad to have you on tonight. All right, we got Miss Kalana Autry out there, Brown Autry. Glad to have you. Dallas, Texas, rocking and rolling, rolling and rocking, having some fun, making some money here at my econ. Man, we got Texas, 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 everywhere, Texas. All right, we got Mr. Chappelle down in Corpus Christi. We got, all right, we changing it up a little bit. We got Mr. Melton down in Florida. Welcome, welcome. We got, well, we back in Texas. We got Tawana down in Texas. All right, we're going up north for a few minutes, though. We got Miss Ioannis from the great state of Indiana. Welcome. Hey, Ioannis, how you doing today? All right, guys and ladies, we're rocking and rolling, rolling, rocking, having some fun, making some money, getting it done here in my econ. I see you guys are hopping on today. Hey, you're getting excited. You're waiting on October 31st, 2020. Well, we're proactively waiting because we're still working, producing, building our businesses. So we're just proactively waiting. We're waiting, but we're not waiting. You know, I guess that's what Bruce Lee said, you know, the art of fighting without fighting, right? He was getting the job done. So that's what we're doing in my econ. We're getting the job done. Some of you out there that's young, you're probably saying, what in the world is Ivy talking about? We don't know anything about Bruce Lee. Well, hey, it's a good movie. Go watch it. Enter the Dragon, right? It's good. So we're ready to rock and roll. All right. All right, guys and ladies. Hey, we got a whole bunch of our great associates out there today. Hey, we got Mr. Delgado from the great state of Connecticut. We got Miss Davison from Maryland, Mr. Stinson from Alabama, Mr. Clopton from Alabama, Mr. Dorsey up in Maryland, and the list goes on. As they say, the beats keep on coming. So that's what it's all about. Hey, you know we got Miss Janelle down up, no, up in New York, Long Island. All right. And we got Brina out there today. All right, got Miss Ford out there today. And of course, we got Anna from Houston. Hey, Anna, glad to have you. Texas is winning, rocking and rolling down in the great state of Texas, the city of Houston. Let's get it done. All right, guys and ladies, we're getting it done. Hey, let's have some fun, make some money, and enjoy our lives. That's what it's all about. Hey, I got some exciting stuff for you today. I'm already getting overexcited, so I got to calm down, calm down, calm down. I got to calm myself down today. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go out and welcome all of our guests out there today. Hey, New York is pretty hot today. I see New York's hopping on. The DMV's trying to come bring it in strong. But hey, that Texas crowd, they are absolutely getting it done down there. All right, guys, so let's go get it done. Hey, if you're a first-time guest on the My Econ Business presentation, 
we just want to welcome you today because we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to join us on this My Econ presentation. Hey, we know you're excited and anxious to hear some information about My Econ because one of our great leaders asked you to get on this call, said you could hear some information that could help you change your life financially. Now, they were 100% correct because My Econ's helped tens of thousands of people and some have gone on to become millionaires. So we're going to make this call well worth your time today. All right. And if you're one of our veteran associates, you know you're welcome. You're always welcome because you're the foundation of My Econ. Hey, a couple quick announcements. Make sure you get the My Econ app. Hey, leaders, go tell your group to get the app. Hey, we're getting a very high percentage, but we want 100% because that's where we communicate. Okay. So let's go get that done. Hey, then also we've got 10 days or less on travel. We're getting down to the end. So go out and get your My Econ Travel membership. $44.95. So take care of you for the next year. You also get a commission back of $7.50. So that's $37.50 plus this tax deductible. So you're going to be out less than $30. If you travel at all, you're going to save more than that on your first reservation, probably three or four or five times more than that. Plus, the bottom line, guys and ladies, you can use that membership to make money. It's going to save you some money. And when we make the announcements on next weekend, you're going to wish you had gotten it. And the last day you can get it is October 30th. So you got to go get it done. Let's make it happen. All right. Hey, Miss uh, Alvarenga says... Um, Hello, guys. Hello. We're glad to have you, Melrose. Glad to have you today. Hey, we got Mr. TC, one of our leaders down in the great state of Florida. Mr. Hawthorne, another Texas leader out there. Got a great EVP in there. He and his wife and his mother out there in Texas, and they are absolute great leaders here in my econ. Mr. McBride up in the great state of North Carolina. We got some poor uh, we got Mr. McKee up in Cleveland. We got Tawana. All right, Miss Singleton up in Baltimore. Man, we got another Miss Sabora down in Plano, Texas. Man, I tell you, Texas is busy, busy, busy. Hey, did you guys read this weekend that the TSA, you know, at the airport, hey, they screened over 1 million passengers on this past Sunday, over 1 million passengers. That's big. Hey, so that tells you travel is coming back, coming back, coming back, and you've got to get ready now, over 1 million. Hey, I wasn't one of them. I'm not quite ready yet, okay? I'm going to need a few more months to get rid of some of this stuff before I jump out there, right? But I'm ready. I'm just not, like, ready, ready, you know? I'm ready, like, as I want to go do it, but I'm not brave enough to go do it yet. I'm going to wait a little while longer, okay? Let some of you younger adults go out there and do that. Hey, we got one of our great leaders on today. Hey, got my buddy from out there in Phoenix, Mr. Rodney Spivey. Hey, Rodney, how you doing? Glad to have you on the call today. Got Mr. Jeffrey Anderson up in Cookville, Tennessee. We've got people on from everywhere tonight, guys and ladies. We're having some fun and getting it done. Hey, we're talking about my favorite subject tonight, okay, is income shifting. Hey, before I get into it, we're going to lead right into it. We're going to come in the back door to just a moment with it, okay? But see, have you ever really just had a mindset change about something? I mean, not like a little, you know, a little small change of mind. You know, you were you was going to do this and you decided to do that. No, I'm talking about like a mindset change. I'm talking about like a shift in your belief system, a shift in your thought process, okay? That's big a shift in your thought process. I'm talking about a life-changing event. I'm talking about a life-changing thought process, something that takes it and just boop, turns it all the way around the other way, right? You see, because that's what we need to have, a life-changing event. You said, wait a minute, Ivy, we already had one of those this year. We, you know, we got COVID, that's been out there. So that was a life-changing event, yep. But that didn't change our mind. That just changed our circumstances for a little while. I'm talking about something that changes your mind and takes you to a whole different thought process and really does a job on you, right? And see, that's what it's all about. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight, something that can totally change your mind. 
Change the total direction of your life. Rearrange your total finances and make it much easier. I remember when I first understood this many years ago, and I was literally, I mean, I, I was overwhelmed, you know? Um, you know, I remember when the good Lord showed me this, you know, see, here's what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about income shifting, okay? You see, most people, when it comes to becoming financially successful or becoming a millionaire, what they think about is how much money can I make working? You know, whether it's working a job, whether it's working a business or it's working a combination thereof, they put that first and okay, and that's okay. But the truth of the matter is, if you want to become a millionaire, you've got to become an income shifter, okay? You see, income shifting is what it's all about. That's where we learn to use money to make money. And that doesn't mean that we don't want to go out and make money in business and create more revenue and create more money coming in the door and get pay raises on our job. But there are factors that affect our money. And if we don't deal with those factors that's in our life financially, then we can't become millionaires. See, the truth of the matter is most people that become millionaires is not because they made millions and millions of dollars, you know, in business or they had jobs that paid them two or three or $400,000 a year in jobs. It was because they learned to be income shifters. Now, some people call it money management, which is okay, but it's really not the same thing. See, managing your money, that means you just budgeting what you already have. When you become an income shifter, you learn to use money to make money. You see, that's what they do on Wall Street. On Wall Street, they call it cash, asset, cash. You get some cash, you buy, build an asset that creates more cash. In other words, if somebody has a thousand dollars and they take the thousand dollars and they go to the mall and they buy some, you know, buy clothes or whatever, or a big screen TV or whatever, right? Now, literally within a week, that big screen TV is now probably worth $800. You know, within six months, it's probably worth $500. Within three years, it's worth, you know, uh, maybe $100 or something like that, right? And so, you know, that's not bad because we all got to buy consumer goods because, you know, we like things, right? I mean, everybody likes to buy something new sometimes. So we're not saying don't spend your money. What I am saying is you got to take some of your money and learn to do some income shifting. See, budgeting is just putting the numbers. So, you know, you got $5,000, you put a spot for everything. And at the end of the budget, you know where the whole $5,000 went, whether it went to savings or went to debt or went to, you know, expenses. That's budgeting. Income shift is when you put it on the paper, then you take some of that money, but you use that money to make more money. That's the difference between an income shifter and a budgeter. See, a budgeter is just a static number. It is what it is. But an income shifter is not that it is what it is. It's you take some money and you make it something else. See, that's a mind shift. That's a mindset shift, you see? And see, most people, all they work, they just think about, well, how much money can I make? You know, they don't even count the amount of money that they make from using the strategies in the business as real money. If they do that, they don't even think they made real money because they didn't, if they didn't get, they only count the money that they made from a commission check. Hey, I like commission check. Commission checks are great. And I've made a great deal of money in my life. But the truth of the matter is I made more money on income shift than I did on commission checks. Okay. You see, because the more money you make on commission, the more money you make on your job, the more money you have to shift. You see, that's what it is. See, when you hear people who talk about becoming millionaires, they were people who learned to do great money management or they hired somebody to do it for them. Now, the problem is when you're coming from a position and you have limited funds, then you really can't hire people that's going to turn your money into more money, you know, at a low cost. And so you've got to learn to do it yourself so you can get that status going in your life. All right. So let's talk about what is income shifting. Income shifting, let's go over and deal with it for a minute, okay? Now, uh, income shifting is extremely valuable, okay? You see, income shifting is when we take some money and we use that to make more money. And there's basically five areas of our life that we can use income shifting to really grow our finances. There are tons of millionaires in my econ, and the millionaires in my econ are the people who are, 
the best income shifters. Now, also to be an income shifter, you have to have a little vision, you know, because see, there's a there's a scenario that goes on out here in the networking industry. All right. You know, and that and that thing that goes on is that, hey, guys, come join our company because, you know, everybody over here is making a hundred thousand a month or fifty thousand a month. It's just a lie. You know, uh, man, you know, because the bottom line is, uh, you know, it, it's only a one out of every 100 people is going to make a significant amount of money in network marketing. And even if they do make a significant amount of money, if they don't do income shifts, they still won't have any money. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Let's say you made $100,000 in your network marketing business. That's great. OK, good. Or maybe 250000 whatever. But if you don't learn something about income shifting, you're going to lose 40% of it or more to taxes. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Now, the federal tax rate is 21%. That's down. It used to be 35, but it's 21 now. Okay. All right. But then you got FICA and Social Security. Well, that's 15.3. Well, you know, 21, because when you're a business owner, you pay both sides. So 21 and 15, that's 36. And then if you're in the state, you know, and you got 5% state taxes, then you have 41 percent. So they lost 40 percent of the money right off the top. Then they got business expenses. Then they got lifestyle. So no matter how much money you make, you still are going to have to do income shifting if you ever want to be financially successful. OK. And then if you're doing it part time, it's going to take you a while. It's not like you're just going to join the first year, and make one hundred thousand dollars or join the first year, and make two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That does happen because you'll have some networkers that was in another company and they built a big team and they got in that team <coughs> and they joined a new company, but they brought the team with them or a lot of the team. And so they made a lot of money fast. Okay. You see, but that's the message that so many people sell in network marketing. They like to sell the idea of lifestyle, you know, spending money. They like to sell the idea that everybody is making a whole bunch of money. And some people do make great money, but everybody's not, you know, it's, it's not, as a matter of fact, it's mathematically impossible for everybody to make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, even in a traditional business. Let me show you what I mean. Even if you're in a great state like Texas, where they just got tons and tons of people, 20 plus million people down there. Hey, it's only so if it takes 500 uh, customers to support your restaurant daily, let's say it takes 500 customers to keep a McDonald's going. Well, you can only put so many McDonald's in the state of Texas. You can only put so many restaurants in the state of Texas. You can only put so many heating and air conditioning businesses in the state of Texas. So making money is not unlimited. Generating income from business or from jobs is not unlimited. It's all limited, you know, but I understand because sometimes, you know, you get people that are really good at sales and they get on that call and they start just making it seem like, you know, that, Hey, if you get in this company or you get in that company, then, you know, that system that they got some kind of new system or, you know, all of them got a new system and the system change is always new. You know that you're just going to just make money, you're just going to be walking down the road and money just going to be falling out the sky, hitting you on your head, falling in your pocket. You're just getting rich, 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 you know, and then six months they join another company. And see, this isn't about them. This is about this is about people that do that. This is about how you become a millionaire you see and that's through income shifting okay now <clears throat> why is income shifting so valuable well here's why let me let me give you an example let's say you make fifty thousand dollars a year on your job or you got a household income of fifty thousand dollars okay and you start making that by the time you're 35 years old and you do that until you're 65 years old that's 30 years well fifty thousand times 30 that's $1.5 million right there. So almost everybody makes over a million dollars in their lifetime. But obviously, if 95% of people are not financially successful, <laughs> then there's got to be a different reason that most people are not financially successful other than the fact that they made a lot of money. OK, if you make 100000 a year, you know, from the, in your household from the time you're 35 years old until you're 65. Well, that's $3 million that you made in your lifetime. Okay. And I just counted from 35 to 65. But some people work longer and some people make good money before then. So just making money is good. But if you don't make money, if you don't do something with the money, if you don't learn to do income shifting and rearrange how that money is going out of your household, you're only looking at the money coming in your household, you still won't be a millionaire. 
Okay, so if you're going to become a millionaire, you've got to understand it. Now, that's hard sometimes because in this world that we live in, you get people that that's all they sell in is the idea to make money, make money, make money fast. And then they start telling lies about how much money they make, you know. And so sometimes you can get caught up in videos, you can get caught up in great speakers and, you know, and then the next thing you know, it's like, man, it didn't work out. Then you go join another one. And, you know, six months later, you realize, well, that one didn't work out either. Then you join another one. Then six months later, didn't work out either. You see, because it never works out, because it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Okay? Financial. Look at the millionaires in America. All right? So you say, well, I do. So why is income shifting so bad? Well, because 50% of your money is going to be affected positively or negatively by income shifting. 50% or more of your money is going to be affected by income shifting. Okay, now you think about it. You work 30 years, 40 years, you make a million and a half, two million, three million, four million, job, business, combination, whatever, and 50, you can lose 50% of it to income shifting, yes, or more. Let me show you what I mean. Now, you know taxes, you're going to lose anywhere between 20 and 30% right there. State taxes, federal taxes, FICA, and Social Security. Even if you work on a job, you got seven and a half percent FICA. Okay, that's uh, the that's what pays for your Social Security, pays for your Medicare benefits when you you know you get elderly, right? Okay, so you're going to pay those taxes. So that's twenty five to thirty percent or more right there. All right, so that's going to affect you. Now the W four. Okay, when tax withholding, if they're holding your money and then you're not using that money throughout the year then you're losing what's called opportunity cost. Because if you had the money, let's say they take out $400 too much out of your paycheck for taxes and the government holds it, okay? So they take out January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. They take out. If you don't get the money back to next April or May when you get your tax refund check, they're holding some of your money for over a year. Well, if you had that money, you could use it and start shifting money. You could put it into a retirement account. You could put it into an investment account and get some earnings on it, okay? Now, even if that was 2000 a year for 30 years, that's $60,000, all right? Or you could use that money to start paying off debt early, shifting money from your creditor back into your household, okay? Then you got debt elimination. What percentage of your, see, when you start looking at your mortgage, what percentage of your mortgage is going to the actual mortgage you know, the amount you owed and what percentage is going to interest. Well, normally it takes about 20 years before half of the money goes to interest and half of it goes to the principal, to the actual mortgage itself. So you send the mortgage company, you know, $1,200 and it takes 20 years before 600 is going to interest and 600 is going to principal. That's 20 years. Okay, so that's why mortgage companies get rich really, really fast, okay? You know, I was just reading this thing the other day. There was a gentleman, I can't think of his name, but he played basketball. He was a walk-on in college at Michigan State. He played basketball. I'll go and get his name so I can bring it to you in a better way, but this will suffice for right now. And he started a mortgage company, and he's worth more money than LeBron and Michael Jordan and Kobe combined, okay? Michael Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron combined. Why? Because he started a mortgage company. He's, he did income shifting. You see the difference? He started a mortgage company, okay? And mortgage companies, that's all they're doing is income shifting, all right? And so that's not putting any of them down in any way or building him up anyway. I'm just showing you the power of making money with money, all right? Now, so then you got credit repair. Well, our credit, you know, what's the interest rates on your credit cards? You got some people paying 2 3 4%. You got some people paying no interest. You got some people getting all kind of great deals because they got great credit. You got other people, 18%, 21%, you know, high interest rates on credit cards, okay? And then you got investing. You know, some people, they just put their money in the bank and get 1%. Let me show you something. In the investment industry, there's a formula called the rule of 72. The rule of 72 says divide 72 by the interest rate you're getting on the money and it's going to tell you how long it takes for your money to double okay that's before taxes so it gives you a perspective of okay so you go down to the bank you put ten thousand dollars in the bank they pay you 
uh, 1%, okay? So 72 divided by 1 is 72. It's going to take 72 years. You put 10,000 in, it's going to take 72 years for that 10,000 to become 20,000. They're giving you 2%. You know, banks aren't paying. 72 divided by 2 is 36. It's going to take 36 years for your 10,000 to become 20,000. Now, if you got 8%, the money would double every nine years. And the market has averaged over 9.5% for the last 150 years. Yeah, it goes up and down, but it's averaged 9.5%. Okay? So if it's doubling every eight years, okay, every nine years, you got 10,000. Nine years, you'll have 20,000. In 18 years, you'll have 40,000. In 20, you know, in 27 years, you'll have 80,000. And in 36 years, you'll have $160,000. Now, you see, that's a big difference. And then when you start looking at the difference in that, so that means that one person might need to come up with fifty dollars or $60,000 in their lifetime to have a million-dollar retirement account because they're getting 8 to 9% return on their investments. Another person, you know, they would have to come up with maybe $500,000, 10 times as much, to have the same million dollar retirement. And most people can't come up with $500,000 even over a period of time. And so they never build a retirement, you see. And so when you go out there and you're just working on how much money you make, how much money you make, how big your commission checks are, you could end up in a situation where you could never retire. You could end up in a situation where you could never be a millionaire because you're not doing it right. Now, and then you talk about investing. Well, see, investing is important, getting a good rate of return, because you got to stay ahead of inflation. Inflation is when the cost of living goes up. Let me show you an example of this. If you had a job, this is 2020. If you had a job in uh, 2000, the year 2000, you were making $45,000 a year. And today you're making $100,000 a year. You really make it $45,000, OK? Because the cost of living a little, little more than double, just, you know, a little more than double too over that same 20 year period of time. Okay. And also, so, so when you start thinking about these things, you, you can't get rid of, you can't just walk away. You see, because some people want to say, well, you know, don't worry about the income shift and ain't no money in that or this or that and the other. They're just not too bright when it comes to money. Okay. You see, or they're trying to sell you an angle because they want you to try to hustle and work hard to make your money. You know, they either don't understand or, you know, they're just trying to sell you a bag of goods. But if you want to be a millionaire, you've got to become an income shifter. Now, like I said, on Wall Street, they call it cash, asset, cash. And then in financial advisors, they call it money management. But it's definitely not budgeting. OK, we call it income shifting. That's just a brand that we put on because we're literally shifting dollars from the creditors, from the government back into our pocket. OK. Now, that's our number one product. You see, you can lose half of your money that you work for your entire life if you do not become an income shifter. And now, you know, sometimes when you look at that from a vision basis, see, some people, like I had somebody do this to me. This is, you know, just this year, you know, somebody and, and they didn't have any money, you know, and they were struggling. And they said, I mean, don't nobody want to know nothing about financial education, but I'm a nice guy. So I just, you know, I knew they was having a day, right? I knew they was having a day. And so, and this person, you know, they're up there in age pretty good. They're older than I am and I'm 61, right? And so they were just, you know, that financial education stuff, that income shifting stuff, you know, they just going on, they was having a day, right? But you know, I'm a nice guy. So I let them have it, you know, that day. But then I was like, on another day, I'm like now, you've been working hard for 40 years, right? They said over 40. And you're pretty smart, right? And they said, yeah, I'm pretty smart. And you don't have any money, right? And you're 70, right? And they said, yeah. So you telling me that you, you struck out, you went to the back for 40 years and you struck out, popped up, ground out something for 40 years. Those of you that wanted a different way, you played quarterback and you threw in it and, and you never did get a complete pass in 40 years. 40 years, you, you worked for 40 years and you ended up on zero. 40 years, you just over zero. Come on now. 
But nobody don't want to know about financial education. See that in see, and I'm like, well, don't you think you want to think about that a little bit? I mean, don't, don't you think that maybe you missed something in your perception? Don't, but maybe you miss something in your mindset. I mean, you hear millionaires every day talking about taxes. Okay? You, you, you know, millionaires talking about investing. Millionaires talking about re billion dollars, billionaires talking about refinancing their debt, getting a lower interest rate. Billionaires trying to have great credit so they can borrow money cheap. Billionaires investing, millionaires investing, people who had no money became investors and became millionaires, and you say that don't have any value. Now, don't you want to just, you know, because I'm, I'm a kind guy, right? So, because I'm just trying to get this person to understand, don't you think you need to maybe think that over a little bit? I mean, for 40 years, you tried working hard. For 40 years, you've been working day and night, night and day, working a job, building a business, doing both of them at the same time. And now you like, don't nobody need to know that? Woo! Woo! That's exactly what they need to know. Do you see millionaires working harder than regular folk? No. Nobody becomes rich because they work harder, because they're smarter. They make better financial decisions. They do income shifting or money management or cash asset cash. And that's what we teach in my econ. As a matter of fact, that's our number one product. Now, some people can't make money at that because they don't do it. I mean, just think about it. If somebody doesn't have, if somebody won't lower their own taxes, how are they going to teach somebody else to do it? If somebody won't change their own W before, they don't want to get their own money, then whose money are they going to get? If somebody can't shift their own income, how are they going to sell income shifting to somebody else? So see, sometimes you have to look at the source because when people tell you about, well, that don't work, what you should say, well, I don't know if it don't work or you don't know how to work it, but we can agree that it ain't working for you. But it's working. You see, because this is really, we just branded it. This is what the whole, this is what millionaires do. And see, that's our number one product. If, if I had to get rid of all the products we got in my econ, just give me income shifting. I can get a customer every day. Because some people got sense. Some people like, yeah, I'd rather pay $200 in taxes instead of 600 every month. Some people got sent. Some people say, yeah, I'd rather the government take 200 out of my check instead of 600. Some people got sent. They say, yeah, I'd rather make a million. I'd rather make money investing than make money working. Some, some people got sense. So I know I can find somebody with some sense every single day and have for the last 40 plus years and just have a conversation and they'll be like, now that's cool right there. You can, you can, even the children got sense enough to know that. The children, look, even the child that gets to the teenager, the young, young, young adult, super young adult, they get a job down at McDonald's or some fast food place and they take $25 out, they check, they mad. And then you get a 50 year old that's like, well, let me think about it. Think about getting your own money, not somebody else's, not your money. You got to think about whether you want the government to take your money or you want to keep it. Woo! Is something wrong? Is something wrong? That's why we got to have, boom, we got to shift the mind so you can shift your life. See, it's called income shifting. We did a play on words. Shift your mind to shift your life. Change your mind to change your life. Shift your income to shift your finances. See, let's go a little bit further. And see, some people can't do it. And you as a leader in my econ, if you out there brand new today, some, some people can't get it because they don't understand it and they won't take the time. And then they won't take 20 minutes a week and manage their own money. They won't take 20 minutes a week to shift their own income. They won't take 20 minutes a week to, you know, I see people all the time who have bad credit. It's not because they didn't have money. They paid, they had the money and paid the bills late. 
They had the money and overextended themselves by borrowing more than they had, more than they could pay. And see, if you want to be in the one percent, see, I know what I'm talking about because I grew up poor. I grew up in a small town in South Georgia that we never even had a conversation about money. It just wasn't never enough of it. See, so, and I spent my whole adult life saying I wanted to be a millionaire. And then when I got it, I said, now I want to teach other people how to do this. It's called income shifting. Let's go a little bit further. I just told you where the name came from. Shift your mind and shift your life. Shift your, shift your income and shift your finances. Go from being where you got more money going to debt and taxes every month and you got more money going to investing and growth every month. See, your money is going to make somebody rich. Money never stops working. Even when you die, your money works. Let me prove it to you. Let me show you something. You go out and borrow $5,000 on a credit card. All right, and then you pay them $1,000 worth of interest today. You pay them $1,000 worth of interest this year, 2020. Now the credit card company got that $1,000 of profit. They got their five back, plus they got $1,000 of profit. That was the interest. They're going to take that $1,000 and loan it to somebody else. And then when they do the same thing, they're going to take that $1,000 and loan it to somebody else. And 25 or 30 years later, even if you did, they have made 20, 30, 40, 50, a hundred thousand dollars or more on your thousand dollars. And when you start thinking about it like that, you're like, oh no, oh no, Sally, it ain't gonna work like that. Like my big sister said, I got to cut them. I got to cut them. See, because that was your grandchildren's money. That was your great grandchildren's money. That's why nations stay poor. That's why communities stay poor. That's why certain families stay poor. You got to flip it. China was a broke country. China, yeah, go read it up in the history books. Go to Wikipedia, go read it up. They were broke. And they split that thing. They started the saving and investing. Saving and investing. The government started, got the people to it. Now China, one of the richest countries in the world, they loaning money all over the world. See, you got to go from a borrower to a lender. Even the Bible tells us that. That the borrower is servant to the lender. And he call it blessed when we can lend to many nations. Same. It's a fact. And you got the number one product in America. I can sell this product all day and all night. I don't need no flip chart to tell somebody about this. Anybody that just sit down and think about it for a few minutes can say, well, would I rather pay some interest? Would I want to buy a house for $250,000 and pay $750,000? Or, you know, over a 30-year period of time? Or would I have somebody rather have somebody paying me? You see? It's just that simple. And if you don't get that in your heart, and start shifting your income and your own personal finances, you can't sell this. You don't have enough conviction. See, when you start in sales, you got to you got to sell what you believe. And when you start believing it, then you can sell it, you see? Let's go a little bit further. Now, which is more valuable? Business building or income shifting both? But let me tell you something. Business building is based on income shifting. OK, because when you start talking about a business, the person that's going to get in business with you, they want to know, did you have some success? Well, you know, obviously, if you just got started, you hadn't made a commission check today. Obviously, you only been around a week. You hadn't made a commission check. So what do you tell your friend when you call them? You say, well, I changed my debit before and I got some more cash. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. Well, you know, I'm working on my credit. OK, and, and, and I'm raising my score. So now you can tell them that. You see, so so it's both. They go together. See, the better income shifter you become, the better business builder you become. But now the better business builder you become, that don't mean you're a better income shifter. You have more money to shift your income. You see, that's what it's all about. And the millionaires, you know, hey, Keith Tucker in my econ, he, you know, he was making some extra money when he's he and his wife, they started. 
paid off $100,000 a year, $100,000 his first year in my econ. How you going to, now that freed up $2,400 a month, money that was going out to their creditors, stayed in their household. See, a guy like that, uh, he and his wife, you know, they, nope, you know what's somebody going to tell him? Oh, no, that was a bad move. You got rid of that hundred thousand dollars of debt, then twenty four hundred dollars started coming back in your house. You raised your credit score from five twenty to eight hundred five, eight hundred plus. See, that doesn't make sense. Somebody had, you know, changed it there before and got five hundred dollars a month, three hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, a thousand dollars a month, fifty dollars a month. They go together. See, when you start shifting that income, and see, it doesn't matter how much you shift. It. it doesn't matter how much you shift it. It's the conviction that builds up on the inside of you. And then you can sell the business because you start seeing the world like, man, if, if, if everybody was doing this, you know, if everybody was doing this, you know, I'm a church boy, right? Y'all know that, right? So I'll be sitting in church on Sunday morning. You know, sometimes I probably shouldn't be. I probably ought to be listening to the people preaching. Now that, you know, we got a good preacher, so I'd like to hear him preach. But, you know, sometimes when they start all that singing stuff, I'd be just, you know, sitting there thinking about other things. And I'd be thinking now, whoo, we got a thousand people in here. Now, if, if, if everybody in here was debt free and everybody in here was investing $500 a month, whoo, man, that would be a tremendous amount of wealth. If everybody was, 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 was lenders instead of borrowers, you see, that's what it's all about. And so, see, it doesn't matter where you start. Have some vision. Just understand if I start today and I work at it, I'm going to get better every quarter. I'm going to get better every year. See, this year you might be shifting $50 a month. And you're like, who? I don't know if I'm going to ever get that. I ain't got but $50 a month going in. Don't worry about it. Your conviction is coming up. Next year you're going to be more powerful because your conviction, you, you, people going to hear it in your voice. They're going to see it in your walk because you're going to be like, Ooh, I'm having a good day. Well, what's going on? Man, I'm, I'm my best man starting to grow. Ooh, that strategy is starting to grow. Ooh, my money coming in. And they, I want to do that too. And see, then that next year, you might be doing 150 a month. You know, and then you'll get some more people on your team. You might get a pay raise on your job. You start making more money in the business. And then that next year, you might be best in three. You might be shifting $300 a month. And you look up one day and you'll be shifting $1,000 a month, $1,500 a month, $2,000 a month. And you start saying, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be a millionaire. I had told me I was going to be a millionaire one day. I'm going to be a millionaire. But, but even before you get to the millionaire status, you're going to feel so good about yourself because you're going to be free. You know, when, when, you know, when you don't have all that debt on you, when you understand what's going on with your taxes, when your credit score is good, you don't have to worry about going somewhere and being embarrassed, getting turned down. You know, you don't have to feel bad because somebody else getting 3%. You hear, you read on it, come, everybody refinancing their mortgage at 3%, 2%, and you over there with 7%, just make you feel bad. So when you start shifting your income, you start feeling good about yourself. I'm telling you, that conviction come up and the good Lord will bless you. And you'll look up one day and you'll be like, I'm going to do it. And then that conviction just roll over. And then you start teaching other people. You teach your kids, you teach your grandkids. And your family goes from being a struggling family to a wealthy family. See, that's what income shifting is. Let's talk a little bit more about it. See, what's the difference between income shifting and budgeting? I got $5,000. I just put, you know, I got this much for rent or I got this much for a mortgage. I got this much for this, that, that much, that, that. The whole $5,000 gone. Okay, that's budgeting. But, and, and, and then the next month I get $5,000, I do the same thing. But income shifting says, wait a minute now. Okay, I'm looking at this. But if I can cut this, rearrange that, you know, they take it, you know, because now a lot of people don't realize this, but how much they take out your check for taxes is also a budget item. See, what people do is they 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 they, they just forget that part. They just say, well, I just budget the part I get. That's your first mistake. You work for all the money. Budget in the part they're taking out for your taxes. 
And then you say, okay, now if I could cut that and get this, get a little bit more, $100 a month, $200 a month, put that in my investment account or start paying off debt with that. Now every month I'm moving my money. I'm moving my finances. I'm growing my finances every month. And do you know what'll happen if you take a small ax and you start wheeling at a big old tree? I don't care what kind of mess you in. I don't care where your finances are. You just keep on wheeling. After a while, they say timber, and that big tree falls, and them burdens lift up off of you. And you say, man, I'm happy now. I'm getting there. I'm feeling good. See, you got to fight your way out. They don't give it to you free in this world. You got to fight your way out. See, I, I know that. I, I love that. You know, hey, when I when I went into business, I was a young kid, 21 years old. But I had enough ambition for, you know, 10,000 people. And I was determined with everything in me to get rich. You see, and that's why I'm determined to help you get rich. See, you can be rich. You ain't got to have no mortgage. You ain't got to have no debt. You can pay it off. You can, you, you can, be, you can live in a paid-for house. You can drive a paid-for car. You can have money in your investment account. You say, yeah, but I, you just don't know how bad I'm off, I, I, how bad off I am today. Well, it doesn't matter. Because if you're so bad off, you can't possibly see. Go down there and declare bankruptcy. That's what the bankruptcy law is for. You say, yeah, but I'm going to ruin my credit. If you're in that bad shape, your credit already ruined. You know? And if you got a fighting chance, then fight your way out. And if you fight a little bit every day, every month, you start shifting. That money start coming in. You start growing. And see, it's just like a flame. You're blowing that little fire. The next day, you know, you got a whole blaze going on. So income shifting is using money to make money. Budgeting is just allocating the money that you have. And that's two different scenarios. Now, why is income shifting the number one financial product in America? Well, let me tell you why. Americans have more debt, corporate debt, personal debt, and government debt in the history of America, and it's getting worse. Okay? Corporate America got the debt, too, so they're not going to raise wages significantly. They might get a little raise here, a little raise there. You know, or people that's in certain positions, they get might get a significant raise. But the 95% of the people in America, they're never going to get a big significant pay raise. And based on inflation, the pay raise is going to be so thin, it's, it's negligible. See, they might get a, a, a $200 pay raise, but the cost of living goes up. The next year they might get a hundred dollars, but the cost of living goes up and it just keeps going up, going up, going up. So it's all about the same. So the truth of the matter is, and if you think about it, you'll come to this revelation. Americans can't win by just working jobs and paying bills and saying it is what it is. They can't win that way. They're going to have to rearrange it. Companies gonna have to rearrange it. Even the government is saying it. Well, what do you think the CARES Act is about? What do you think about PPE, PPE Act is all about? Because, but but let's think about this now. You're a billion dollar company. You've been in business for 50 years, 75 years, 100 years. And one little virus, and within 60 days, the company was broke. They were broke before the virus. It was just covered up. But all of a sudden, when the virus hit, they could say, oh, yeah, we struggling because of that. No, they were struggling before the virus. But they was hiding their hand behind status. They was hiding their hand behind brands. But they were already struggling. Americans cannot win just by working jobs. Americans cannot win just by trying to run businesses because there's so many businesses that the competition is so hard in business. You can't raise your prices. You can't raise, you, you can't make big profits in business. You have to just do a lot of volume. See, Amazon, they don't make a lot of profit per dollar. 
three, four cents, but they do a lot of volume. Hey, Walmart, they make about three and a half, four cents off every dollar profit, but they do a lot of volume. Well, most people can't do that kind of volume. They don't have the money. They don't have the infrastructure to build that kind of big business. Americans got to have a mindset shift. Americans got to have a mindset shift. And that shift is going to lead them to shifting their income, which is going to shift their life. And you got the number one product in America. And I'm telling you, that product, your testimony, the testimony of your people, of your associates on your team can make you a millionaire. I know because I did it. I know because I had other people do it. Shift your mind and shift your life. Now, if you are guest out there tonight and you're like, oh my goodness, what was all that? Well, if you got some financial goals, look at your check. You see how much they're taking out? You, 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 you know what you've been doing 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. You see where it got you? Now, would you want to sell a product that gives people the ability to immediately shift their income by two to five hundred dollars in their product in their household immediately when they change it there before then start getting rid of their debt improving their credit growing their finances start investing for the first time in their life or add more to their investments that's what we do in my income now you can get in business for just twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents we got all the training videos. We got all the systems, all the information you need, everything you need. We got it. We're going to build your website. Then you pay $34.95 a month for access to the system. Okay. And so now you can start doing that in your life. When you introduce it to other people, you get $25. And then when people on your team introduce it to other people, you get up to $8.50. And then every month when people keep it on your team, you get up to $8.50 monthly. You start building residual income. And you start changing your life. You see, I'll take that product right there over any product in America as a businessman. As a businessman, I'll take that product right there over any product in America. Anytime somebody want to raise, anytime somebody want to say, okay, Ivy, you got this product, we got this product. Okay. You know, some people say, well, Ivy, yeah, but you know, people like to have fun. I understand, but you can't have no fun if you ain't got no money. Well, yeah, you know, I know people want some excitement. Honey, it's hard to be excited when you're broke. So guess what? I'll take that product right there, the income shifter, the My Econ membership. Now, we're going to add some other stuff on there to make everybody happy. But I'll take that income shifter because when I shift your income $200 to $500, you're going to say, Woo, I'm excited, and I'm getting ready to go have some fun. So if you out there tonight and you got some financial dreams and financial goals and you want to change your life, get back with the person that invited you to get on this call and get signed up tonight and start making and saving money immediately. This is Ivy Stokes, CEO and Fede, co-founder of my econ, and I appreciate your time and your attention. Good night and God bless you. Bye-bye.